okay so it's saying that number of a and b the sum of a and b should be equal to sum of c and q okay now it's greater than equal to 0 so it can even start with anything here it is now not required that always a and d will first come it can even start with b c also okay so we are using four variable one variable to generate a d one variable to generate b c another to generate b d okay another to generate a c c here i am using four variables one equal a equal c b c b d and a c like this okay so start symbol first so let me start symbol drawing means generating ad okay and i am using x okay x to generate equal ac any number of ac and then this symbol i am using y to generate equal bd okay bd then i am using z to generate bc and when we want to terminate i will use epsilon I will use epsilon because there should not be bc if you don't want bc you can use epsilon now from here start symbol either you can generate ad equal a equal d ad or you can directly go to other x y z because now it's greater than equal to 0 so if you want to go go directly now from start symbol if you want to go x y z you went okay now after ad if you are going to x ac if you are generating ac then after that inside you can only generate bc and which is generating bc z so after that if you want you can go to z see if when you are generating ac ac now you are generating in middle then after ac in the middle you will get bc so bc is generated by z now here y is generating bd equal b equal d equal b equal d again you if you want to go inside you will go generate bc so bc is generated by z so either generate bd bd or z and if you want to generate epsilon s will directly go to z and z will directly go to epsilon you will get epsilon okay if you want only to generate ad so s will go to ad then s will go to z epsilon now if you go to like if whenever x don't want to generate more any ac they will go to z epsilon when y don't want to generate anything y will take the transition production z and it will generate epsilon tell me whether it is clear or not for greater than equal to 1 i have discussed in class that's why for greater than equal to 0 i have given as homework now i am shown you what is the solution of that please verify whether it is clear or not.